All right, we've got it set up. Looks like we're about ready to go live. You're on. We are on. They all a bunch of yeses. Oh, we are live. Oh yeah, we're here. Believe we're that. We're here. Look at this chat just exploding with comments. Holy freaking cow. Uh man, so much research to get this thing up and running. I know you guys enjoy the live raw reviews. So did a ton of research to try to set up the best live stream that we can. Um, and hey, here we are. We've got the live stream on talking the about Orton now. having an anger problem. What the fuck is this? Dr. Phil is Seth Rollins, your WWE world heavyweight champion fucking Dr. Phil now. Well, uh, you got an anger problem. You know, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh my god! Shit. They got me in tears. This is funny. There's fun. a dude in the chat with the name Big Bush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Did he put in parentheses Harry? <laughs> Henry, yeah, he. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, shout out to Lily Garcia, Big man. Bush. Trim that shit. Torment issues. All right, so back hey, to. Anyways, there's somebody in there named Shout Out to Billy. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Isn't this oh, awesome? Shit. Isn't this isn't this format awesome? Me These Billy, guys are cool, man. Me and Billy were trying this format out earlier, and we're like, dude, this blows away the Google experience. We've probably already had as many people put stuff in the chat as we had YouTube <laughs> comments in a week. Funny twerking. <laughs> yes, yeah, John, get the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so I was, uh, I was thinking that, uh, maybe this week, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, that's gotta be the WWE creative guy right there. That's gotta be the WWE creative guy. <laughs> How much... How in depth? F F F F F F F F F F F. Whoa. Yeah, let's be true. I mean, was that a remix? That was really cool. I thought it was on my end. That was real. That was fucking epic. I thought it was on my end. You gotta soundbite that, Bruce. Yo, that was awesome. You have no idea, Billy. You have no idea. Yeah, some dude in the comments. All right, this is all right. So next time Billy starts talking. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. <laughs> it's like a scratched up CD. <laughs> oh, like my voice did? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was my end. I'm like, no, me too. I was like, oh, this thing's right. 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 Moving on. Oh, so we get to shit. Luke Harper's promo. You guys got to hear this. This was groundbreaking stuff. So he comes out and he <laughs> says, I don't know why Ambrose isn't afraid of me, but after tonight, you will be, boy. And that was his promo. <laughs> Dang old Dean Ambrose. Dang old Dean Ambrose, boy. <laughs> Holy fuck. It took them a whole week to write that shit for Luke Harper. You know, boy. I'm, I'm going to talk about Dean Ambrose because I, I just fucking hate what they're doing with this guy. Like, if you go back and watch his old, his old indie shit and stuff like that, like the guy was cutting promos with bloody forks for crying out loud. All right, this guy was stabbing motherfuckers with forks and shit. He was crazy as hell. Um, his promos were kind of deep and dark. Um, him and Sammy uh, Callahan and stuff, they were killing shit down over there at uh, Combat Zone Wrestling. Comes up to WWE, and he's like this watered-down, pussy-ass motherfucker. I don't even know what the hell they're, they're doing with Dean Ambrose. Like, apparently, he's going to get this big push and, uh, and you know around the summer and whatnot, but I don't fucking believe Anybody it, who man. listens to Dean Ambrose talk... He hates the corny shit. You know, he, sh he shit on the attitude, Eric, because he feels like a lot of it was corny, but here he is coming out doing corny Cut shit. His legs like, I got him! I, I got him! And, and that causes the count out? Okay, so the New Day wins based on Xavier Woods holding Sin Cara from under the ring. So they're going to get the shot at the tag titles. And I'm actually glad the Lucha Dragons lost this match in this manner. Because, first of all, when's the last time you've seen a finish like that in a tag match? I was cool with that. Um, but I, I, I don't want them going too fast with the Lucha Dragons because, first of all, it turns them into sympathetic figures to some fans. But secondly, 
you know, when you look at the Usos, a lot of people wanted to see the Usos used in a predominant fashion years ago. And then when they were, a lot of people are like, no, nah, it's too much now. I don't want to see the Lucha Dragons become too much now. Uh, so I'm fine with them not getting the title shots or the titles at this point. I think they got to hold off till WrestleMania next year. Uh, it could be a big deal. Yeah, but um, after the match, okay, you've got New Day in the ring, and all of a sudden Randy Orton <laughs> shows up out of nowhere, and he hits Xavier Woods with an RKO, which was a pretty good RKO. And then he goes to do a pop-up RKO with Kofi. They fuck it up. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> yeah. Orton kind of pushes him back after the botch. They go for it again, and he gets it. Um, so this is basically the first step of Orton following through on his threat from earlier in the show. Uh, like I said, the first attempt of the pop-up RKO was a little goofy, but man, did the crowd pop when he got it, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck. Triple H tries to talk him out of it. I was, I was extremely fucking irritated. Um, and Seth Rollins comes out. And Seth basically says Kane did what he was told last week. He was the coward that he is, blah, blah, blah. He did his job, and he laid down. And Kane starts screaming at Seth, which I found this a little entertaining when he got up in his face. He started screaming at him and called him a spoiled little punk who's been given everything and thinks he's earned it. He says, and of course, Seth started acting scared. You know. Bitch boy. Yeah. Um, he says... Uh, Seth is only champion because they made him champion. Uh, Kane says he handed him the money in the bank contract. And the same thing would have happened if they chose Dean Ambrose instead. He goes, Ooh. hell, we could have made El Torito champion. Triple H starts or stops the argument and points out nobody's been more loyal to the Bore Authority. And it was Bore Authority in full effect tonight, my friends. Wait, did you say Triple H and point it out? <laughs> um, okay. yeah. uh, but he says Kane's been the most loyal And he makes Kane the guardian of the gate The fuck is this A Marvel movie oh, yeah, I, I, thought it sounded, I thought it sounded like a, I thought it sounded like a Lord of the Rings Spin off Guardian of the gate he's guarding a fucking ring and shit Like what the fuck yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the WWE Studios attempt at making a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I was just thinking that too. Yeah, <laughs> starring Heath. Slater. Maybe this just means he got his own keys to Vince's office finally. The fucking Guardian of the Gate. Yeah, the, Guardian of the Gate. This used to uh, imagine if Grits was here right now. Let me channel my inner Grits. <laughs> The devil's favorite demon used to guard the gates of hell. Why <laughs> <laughs> um, the fuck is she doing that on commentary? Okay, whatever. You're supposed to be a fucking heel. So be a fucking heel. But um, he says you definitely suffered after failing at WrestleMania. He calls Roman a bust. And this is where Bo Dallas, you are the fucking man. Okay, listen to me. He's the fucking man. Because what he said next, he's in with me. Bo Dallas says, Roman, you are the Tim Tebow of the WWE. And I said, yes, exactly. Believe that. Not as far as Roman Reigns, but I love the Tim Tebow reference because he was dissing Tebow. Daniel Bryan's the Tim Tebow. That's <laughs> bullshit. Dallas and Superman punch. And a spear, and the crowd was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know, they're booing him. And Roman had to hesitate for the spear, uh, which took away from the power of the spear, the impact of the spear. Uh, Roman picks the mic back up, and he yeah. says, yeah. If, if Big Show has any guts, he'd be out there tonight. He says that Extreme Rules, he'll take the fight to the Big Show, and you can believe. And then he hesitates, and he looks down at Bo Dallas, and he goes... You can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting better every week. Man, shit. Believe in me. <laughs> I do. I do. He's up there, man. He's a good wrestler. And then someone will go, well, you know, uh, Fuckboy Buckethead, the shit factor of professional wrestling, isn't doing anything different than what Mick Foley did. Actually, he is. 
Because when, Mc, when McFully would do the cheap pops, he didn't have half the arena telling him that he sucked. There's a fucking difference. Oh, look at the strength of John. <laughs> that irritated me. Wow. The way Cena sets up the five-knuckle shuffle irritates me. You know, um, I, I hate his catchphrase. You can't see me. Because it's, a, it's, it's just a bastardization of a great fucking song from Tupac Shakur. I did enjoy Kane's choke slam, so there you go. There's one thing. Um, but as soon as Kane hit the choke slam, I literally thought to myself, "You're gonna lose," because Kane hits the <laughs> choke slam, and he's like, you know, and he's going like this. And I'm thinking, "You're gonna lose," you know. Literally, that's my thought process watching this shit. <laughs> And then Cena, of course, counters the tombstone with an AA. And right as he does it, Booker T blurts out, wow. <laughs> that irritated me. Wow. How the fuck is that wow? Everybody watching this knew that was coming. As soon as Kane... Okay, as soon as Kane did that... I'm like, yeah, you're going to lose. I mean, that's immediately. A, that's a broad generalization, man. There's not everybody knew that. Everybody. I, I didn't even, I didn't know it. Even the I Cena didn't, fans knew it was coming. I didn't know it was coming. I thought he was going to actually lose tonight. Legit. Yeah, right. Like, hey, hey, that's out of a nowhere. broad generalization. But, Just um, like, I mean, honestly, fuck this segment. Fuck John Cena. He's the shit factor of professional wrestling. Disagree. Fuck his trash <laughs> ass, garbage <laughs> ass appearances. I'm Bullshit. sick and fucking tired of it. I'm and not. then every time I talk about this, I get a Cena fan. I don't understand why you don't like him. Yeah, Have I don't you get it watched him? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, but it, it's just pretty apparent to me that the WWE is not even trying right now. A lot of the stuff they're doing doesn't make sense. A lot of stuff they're saying doesn't make sense. It's lacking an excitement level. You know, there's not an excitement factor. Um, I just don't think they're doing the best that they can do. I think they can do better. I think they will do better throughout the year. But right now, I just feel that they've packed it in. But this chat room and, was uh, on their comedy shit tonight. They were even busting our balls a little bit, you know. So, we had a good time. Uh, I'm, I'm burying everything now. I don't give a fuck if you like the dude or not. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, and, uh... For everybody in the chat, if you want to uh, find my Twitter, you can, I got a new Twitter page. Let's see to beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32, and you will have a Texas-sized fucking explosion. Biggie Langston's Captain Kirk of that ship. Um, he's Captain Hook. He's the, he's the leader. He's the man. He's the guy in the forefront. He's the guy that's going to come out in a meaningful fashion out of the new day. What would you have done if CM Punk played the role of the Marine? I would have laughed. Okay. I mean, fucking uh, doesn't look like he's whooped anybody's ass a day in his life. Are you kidding me? CM Punk. CM I will Punk. never like Triple H. Never. never. Cut intense promos, yes. But name his five best moves in the ring. I don't like him as a wrestler. He, he's garbage. 